There are a lot of theme park talking to beginners out there, and I want to show you guys some mistakes that you guys should avoid without even using game passes that will make your parks better and your experience playing this game just better overall. So first on this list is not having a money farm. Guys, if you're only making money from the park you're building on your plot, you're not going to be making a lot of money. As you can see right here, I have 4,248,700 six eight hundred and four i couldn't even count that because i have a money farm right here making me a ton of money so make sure to go check out a money farm video there's a lot of great videos for money farms you can check out just search it up and you will find so many good videos to make your money farms please make a money farm guys you will not regret it if you're going to be making a really cool park you're going to be running out of money so making a money farm is going to help so much and this is not the only money farm i have i also have a little farm down here i can show you that really quick if you want so if you don't have to say what collisions probably make something like this and paint everything green so it's kind of like hidden you know but if you don't want to do that and you actually want to do it underground you can come down here i don't know why everyone's lagging nobody's moving look they're just frozen oh they're moving and you don't even need disable collisions to make a money farm underground you just need to make the roof a little higher it might be a little more expensive but it's still 100 possible underground money farms are way better because they're not in the way of anything usually so if you want to build an underground one and you're building a super cool park make sure to build that underground money farm this one up here will still work but it might be in the way of your build so i'm just gonna cover that up real quick and perfect nobody can see any damage that i made here now today's sponsor is express vpn now i know what you're thinking i just want to play roblox all day i don't care about getting hacked into my computer or anything but not only does it protect you from getting hacked you can also access youtube videos you weren't able to watch websites you couldn't visit or sports matches you weren't able to stream and even netflix shows that aren't available in your country let's say in netflix you want to watch adventure time but you don't live in japan you don't have to move to japan just to watch adventure time all you have to do is get express vpn and change it to japan and boom now you can watch adventure time on netflix i know i'm gonna be watching adventure time with express vpn every single day you can even change it to other countries to get things cheaper things like spotify subscriptions flight tickets online games and many more things could be even cheaper if you change your country to a different one than yours make sure to go down in the description and click the link and with that link you can get three months free of express vpn to just try it out so make sure to go try it out and let's go back to the video all right the next one is one that is so important and that people still do is using basic editor guys do not use basic editor i'm going to show you a coaster building basic editor and i'm going to try to recreate that same coaster but using advanced editor it's going to be so much smoother so much better you're going to see so let's do a little multi-launch coaster and since i have four million why not make a huge one if you don't know what advanced editor is it's this advanced editor right here if you go to making a coaster and then you go to advanced editor you can do so many more things and it's just so much more free but a basic editor it's just piece by piece and you even build so much slower now i'm stuck inside the coaster but it's okay we can get out later so let's build a little station and then with basic editor all we can do is just go straight left right up and down we're gonna get a little booster start boosting myself all the way up oh my gosh look at how many pieces i have to build piece by piece by piece and then let's just go straight down like this okay i'm trying to experiment with these pieces but there's no really cool pieces in here let's just spiral to the right and now we'll go straight again and then let's see what other pieces there are okay we have a big slope right there it looks kind of cool though so let's just keep that and then maybe we can do some more ups and downs so let's see if we can do that okay we can do another slope right here let's do a slope right here it's kind of cool we have this long straight down piece so let's just build like 10 of these right here why not not and now for the end let's just kind of go to the side right here so right here let's go to breaks let's do a little break and now let's just make our way back to the station here all right just a couple more pieces left not only did that take forever to make and i'm stuck inside the coaster oh my gosh how do i get out of here there we go there's my head let's just do a little test ride right now and let's see how this works oh my gosh guys it's not gonna make it up the hill no it didn't make it up the hill okay we just added a couple boosters let's add the boosters to these pieces yes okay now a weird drop here and then oh my gosh i'm scared oh 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 okay that was the sharpest turns i've ever had in my life and then up and down 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 and then sharp turn out down 
and that's the whole ride okay it was pretty horrible i'm not gonna lie so now we're gonna make the same exact ride but with advanced editor okay here's the ride is gonna be to the left right here and it's the station's gonna be in the same place always make the station with basic editor because advanced editor doesn't really work with stations and so for the booster we're just gonna apply boosters and make it as long as the other one but look how much easier it's just one track instead of having to place like 50 and if you don't have it on already make sure to go smooth continuous here because it's just gonna make your ride like one million percent smoother and now we're gonna kind of stop right here and it's gonna go straight down now we're just gonna like make it ease down a little more now the other one had a little circle so let's do like a little loop right here and with this one it's easier to add banking so we're just gonna add a little bit of banking here so it's just a lot better and now instead of having to do like a super sharp turn at the hill we can just start making the banking right here and now it's gonna be so much smoother now to make these little hills that go down and like bump you you can just go here to this one right here the off and now when you go down it just stays at the level but everything goes down like this so now we can do a bump right here do another bump right here do another bump right here and we can make the bumps any size and the other one it had to be one size but this one we can make the bumps any size and then it kind of goes here it goes straight into a break section so let's go down really really easy turns the other one it had to be so many complicated turns I had to do so many tracks and in advanced editor you can do this cool thing that makes it snap to exactly the next track and so you don't even have to do that much work so now we're going to test this one and see how much smoother it is now we're going up and look it's so much smoother going back down and then the turn is a lot smoother oh my gosh guys i'm not actually dying in this one it's just smooth and now here's the part that's kind of jaggedy whoa see look it's so much smoother even just doing the jaggedy parts is smoother this one took me like half the amount of time to make than this one and it's just so much smoother and the more you use it the more you'll get used to it so just keep doing it and your coasters will be 100 times better Better. let's go to the next one the next mistake that you should be avoiding is not using reference pictures and reference videos let's say you want to make space mountain make sure to go on google and search up space mountain and use all the pictures you can to make space mountain and it'll be so much better for example i am making super nintendo world so far every single thing in this park i've made from using picture references for example the peaches castle i actually found out a video that has so many angles of this castle that helped me so much same with all of these other things the one in factory had to use so many angles and videos to make the inside of this factory same with toadstool cafe especially toadstool cafe this one took me a long time to make many many reference images and so whenever you're making basically anything make sure to use a reference picture so right here let's say you want to make space mountain so we search up space mountain and now in here let's say you want to make the outside first so let's go with this one right here and now all you have to do is come here and save the image now when you go into your files you want to find the space mountain that you just saved and now you have it in its own separate tab just like this and you can like zoom in and out as much as you want all you have to do is pull up the space mountain and boom you just have a reference picture right here so when you want to build it you start building it you start building it and then you can just pull it back whenever you want and zoom in and out as much as you want so i think that is going to be super helpful for making things just use reference images please the next thing to avoid is making things random colors if you want your park to look good especially if you have certain lands in your park i did use a reference picture which helped it looks so much nicer to look at as opposed to making one of them like purple and it starts looking really weird so i'm gonna pull up some parks where i didn't use color schemes and i'm gonna show you how weird it actually looks if you don't use color schemes you guys might recognize this park you probably do recognize it it's my 24 hour theme park i did not use color schemes in this park in this park, it was my mistake to not use color schemes, and I 100% regret it because now it just looks kind of kind of bad. So let's fix it really fast and actually use a color scheme. To easily find color schemes, you just have to search up color palette, and you can find so many websites on here that will create a color palette of many different colors you can use for your theme park. So right here, let's go to colors. So now let's just keep hitting space until you like what it looks like. Make sure that these colors kind of match your theme. So I want some brownish color and maybe yellowish for this area. I don't know what I want for the castle. I just don't want that color. And then for this one, I think we can keep it to like a brownish color. So let's look for a brownish color and then something that goes with the castle color. So let's keep going until we find a good one. And out of all these trending palettes, I found one I really like and it's this one right here. So let's use this one right here. We have like a greenish color color we have like a dark blue and then these two colors are going to be like for the pirate ones so let's start doing this so i'm going to use this green color for the castle first 
I think in the default one, the best green one is probably this one. So let's use this one. And I even am going to paint all these fences green too, because it all has to match. We can't just have some things that aren't green. Okay. And also in the color palette, we have these other colors. I think we're going to use this one for the roller coaster. So it's like a dark green blue ish thing. Closest one I can find to that is probably this one. So let's apply this to all the pieces. And already it's looking really, really, really good. It's like 100 times better than it was before. And now other colors we have are these two. So let's start using this one for like the pirate area we're actually going to use a color closer to this one so it's going to be like this tannish color right here and then for the floor right here let's paint it a different color in this palette there's no color that's similar to any of these so we're just going to go with this lighter tan color for the wood and already these two lands are looking so much better with the colors that we changed it to now i'm not going to change the color on the great wall of china because there's like a thousand pieces on it and i think it is the most similar to the actual great wall of china so we're not going to change that but now after a a lot of painting look how much better this area looks using these colors actually helps a lot believe it or not now let's go to the next thing you should be avoiding you need to avoid making everything flat if you were to make every single thing on this layer of terrain it would be the most boring thing ever already right here even in this little section it's so boring having all the trees in one singular level so let's just do a little bit of terrain moving to make this look more interesting let's just go down a little bit right here we'll go down here too so now we're just gonna bring the little things up to make it smooth and it's not like a cliff right here so then it kind of like flattens it out more right there and now if we do this for all the walls and we make trees down here now it's gonna look a lot more more natural because there's actually levels and now we're gonna add a couple of trees in here without using disable collisions and so let's just add a couple of these now with the levels it looks so much better than just one flat surface and so make sure to do that in your parks i did do it a ton for this part i know it takes a lot of work literally hours to make these mountains but make sure to do these in your parks or else it'll just look so plain right here is another good example of doing all these levels to make it so much more interesting and right here is also an example and so that's going to be my last thing you should avoid making your park flat and so thanks for watching this video i hope it helped and i hope you go in your parks and just fix so many things that just look so bad please so that's gonna be it thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one